Good afternoon, skippers. This is Ram55 coming back to you after a lengthy absence with another video from my Virtual Skipper 5 series. Today I'm doing a test video just to get my skills back up on recording, mixing, and uh, presenting videos onto YouTube. So uh, bear with me. I'll be getting the uh, actual round 10 race out to you shortly. But today I'm doing a test race. It's a short series using a uh, New Zealand boat as my own. I'll be sailing against Germany in uh, a force 10 wind. So again, not ideal uh, wind conditions for these boats. They're a little overpowered. And I can tell you that the uh, artificial intelligence skippers are not going to do well since they don't handle their spinnakers well uh, in these high wind conditions. So here I'm just going through the screens, selecting my boat as a New Zealand boat and Germany as my opponent. Now it'll do the loading screen and it'll show the weather conditions. So as you can see, it's rainy. It's west of course, seven with shifting winds. And I imagine I'm going to win this rather easily, not because of my great skills, but because Artificial intelligence boats just don't do real well. Now we're going through the pre-race maneuvering. We have to get across the starting line before the two-minute mark. This is an overview of the course. We're starting at the green line toward the middle of the screen. We go to the left around the buoy, back across to the second mark, turn left, turn right, almost 180 degree turn uh, around the final buoy, and then uh, another 180 degree turn almost for the run to the finish. Here I am now on the proper side, prior to the start, and I'm just maneuvering my boat, getting in a good position prior to the start. Quick review down to the left is a radar view of the course with all the different marks indicated by the white circles. My boat is in the center of the screen, and both boats are yellow at this time. If uh, the opponent boat turns red, that means I have to get him right away. If his boat turns green, he has to get me right away. So that's another clue as to help him maneuvering. In the middle on the bottom is what's called the dashboard. It gives you all kinds of information about your boat, around the wind angle, the apparent wind angle, true wind direction, course over the ground, speed over the ground, all that information. And then over on the bottom right is the compass, and it has three triangles. The yellow triangle is indicating the direction of the current. The blue triangle is indicating the direction of the wind, the true direction of the wind. The green triangle is indicating the apparent wind angle. At the top right, you can see my boat is the New Zealand boat. Germany has a 12 next to it that's indicating the rules that apply.
tech was highly favorable based on this uh, wind direction. So the tech that would have been tech and now matching the German boat with both on the port tech. You can see the German has a 12 next to its boat on the top right. It's red, indicating that I have to hit him right away, and that's because we're both on the same tack. He's the windward boat. Very big advantage over me as we round that first mark. Like the uh, left side of the course was the paper placed on the direction of the wind, and he was able to, on one tack, get very close to that point. Absolutely right that the uh, Melch 
folks don't use pickers. They use a, a fancy jib called what we used to call a, a speaker. It's a blue type uh, Genoa. It looks a lot like a spinnaker, but it's actually attached to the bowsprit on the front of the boat. And that is absolutely true. Unfortunately, I think because of the modeling in this game, they don't accurately model uh, the spanker. And I think if you look closely when the uh, spinnaker gets hoisted, it's a symmetrical spinnaker. So I think it truly is a spinnaker in the game, even though the real boat in reality is not flying a spinnaker. That little bow sprint on this boat is actually retractable. So when you're going upwind like we are right now, you actually retract that into the hull. And when it's time to hoist your downwind sails, you kind of pull that out, and the one end of the sail is actually attached to the tip of that. So in reality, they don't use spinnakers. In this game, they do use spinnakers on the looks of things, and so I'm just going to call this Decimating our opponents. Just wanted to get used to running the game again, making videos, get back in the swing of things, so I'll get this posted. And uh, we'll get out the real event later tonight. So, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching that. It wasn't much of a race. That was just uh, hands back in the game. And we'll be coming at you with round 10, uh, hopefully very soon, maybe even later tonight, if we can make that happen. So, thanks again for watching. Appreciate your interest. Feel uh, free to leave your comments, subscribe if you like, and we'll getting more. We'll be getting more videos out to you soon.